Okay, so in this video we'll be going over the animation editor and how it works. The animation editor can be found in the graphics builder right side menu. When you open the slider, you'll have three options, new, edit, and delete. To create a new animation, select the new option. The first window that appears allows you to choose or create a new category. If you choose to create a new category, the tool will automatically create a new category section within the components window panel, which can be seen on the top left corner of the screen. The next window will allow you to type in a name for your new category. The following window allows you to name the image you are about to create and also allows you to choose what type of animation you'll be creating. So I'll begin by creating a numeric animation for my damper image. The next window allows you to select your images. The base slice section would be your default image. The other slices section allows you to upload multiple image slices. Once you're done uploading your images, hit apply. The next section will allow you to determine the order of your uploaded image slices. Once you have the slices in their correct order, hit apply to create your new animated image. Your new animation will be created as a component within the components panel and can be found in the category you had created using the animation editor. Be sure to bind a numeric point to the animated component and check it out in preview mode to make sure the animation works the way you want it to. Okay, so now let's create a standard on and off Boolean animation. Go to the animation editor tool, select the new option and then select the category you'd like to save it under. As you can see the category I created earlier is listed as an option. I will go ahead and select that and hit next. It will ask you if you want to change the category name. If you want to keep it the same, just hit apply. Now we'll want to change the animation type to be Boolean standard and then name our image. Since this is a Boolean standard animation, we'll only need two slices to represent the on and off state of the component. Once you're done, hit apply and your new Boolean standard component will be created and added to the category you had selected earlier. Make sure to test your animated component by binding a Boolean point to the image and checking it out in preview mode. Alright, next let's create a Boolean animated component. Open the animation editor, select the new option and choose your category. If you're keeping the category name the same, go ahead and hit apply once again. Change your animation type to be Boolean animated and then type in a name for your component. Upload an off slice, which in this case will be the slice that appears when the component is off. And when it comes to uploading your on slices, you can select and upload multiple images, which will eventually loop to create the animation when the value is on. The final window will ask you to pick the slice order for the animation loop. Once you've got them in the correct order, hit apply to create your new Boolean animated component. Like all the animations before, it should appear in the selected category within the components panel. Make sure you test it out by binding a Boolean point to the component and checking it in preview mode. When the point is on, the component should loop between the selected images, creating a nice solid animation. All right, so that's pretty much all it takes to create your own animated components using Finstack's animation editor. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial, please feel free to contact us at support at j2inn.com. Thanks for watching.